Hey guys, it's Robin, RS Island Crafts, and welcome to my studio. The last month when I did the live sale to clear out some of the extra stuff that I've created that's not in my Etsy shop, I had so much fun. And you guys were so amazing that you helped me clear out almost everything that I had. I also mentioned that I was going to do it with the same type of sale with stuffies. I went through and I thought I'd maybe come up with 8, 12 stuffies to sell, but I came up with over 50. So I'm going to go through it today, show you what's going to be available. I'm going to give you guys everything has a number, and I will put the name and the number in numerical order and the price of the item down below in the description box. I will be doing this live sale Saturday, June 19th. I think I'm going to do it before we do our craft and chat, so I'm going to start it at 1130. We normally do our tutorials, our lives on Saturday at noon. So I'm going to do it at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time. And when we're done with the stuffy sale, we'll switch over and do a craft and chat. I thought it'd be a good idea to do the sale first because then afterwards we're just going to sit around and chitter chatter and have a good time. And then there won't be, there's not an actual tutorial. So if anyone's interested in anything they see today, Please feel free to email me the number of the item or the numbers that you would like to purchase. And then I will need your email address to send an invoice to and your total mailing address, your full name and mailing address, so that I can get an invoice put together for you and figure out shipping and stuff like that. All of that to say, you don't have to wait to the Saturday to the live sale to pick anything out that you would like to purchase, mostly because not everyone can be there for the live sale. And when we are doing it and we're going one thing after another, some people have slower internet than others. So I thought I'd give you the opportunity to grab stuff now. And as they are sold, I will just go ahead and mark sold next to them in the description box so you guys know that it's no longer available. And then for people who are doing this in the future, after Saturday's live stream, I'll just delete anything that's no longer available so you'll just see what's left in the description box. We're going to stick with my usual email address. It's the rsislandcrafts at gmail.com listed down in the description box. I think I have something like if you want to talk to me or, or something like that, use this email. Now to start it off, I want to show you guys, I went... I don't know why I made some of these things, but there was this craze at one point where we were all making these stuffed fish. That's what this is supposed to be, a fish. So I have all these different rainbow colors from a pattern. I think I was testing the pattern for someone. So if anyone's interested, you can either just ask for some of these that they're, I think they make like fun for the toddlers or they'd be good cat toys. There's no catnip or anything in it, but you can always rub some catnip on it. And I'll also include these in with anyone who makes a purchase, if you'd like. If you don't want one, then that's fine, too. So I have a bag full of these in all the different colors. So if anyone wants some, all you have to do is pay the shipping. And if you're already ordering something, I'll just put some in there for free for you. Now, everything that I'm going to show you has been stored in a either a plastic tub or in a bag that's been closed up really tight in my closet. That being said, I did make these more than two years ago, so some of them might get a little bit squished and they might need to be reshaped. Once you get them after shipping and stuff, you might have to just give them a little massage and reshape them and help them air themselves out. Because if I do it before shipping, I'll do the best I can, but once they go into an envelope and get shipped, they're gonna still have the same problem. Now I'm just gonna grab these out of where I have them in the little tub and some of them might not be in the same numerical order. I'm just gonna try to do the best I can. If you wanna look for prices, everything will down, be down below in the description box. So we've got Mr. Flurry. I really love this snowman. He's number one. Number nine is a little poop guy. Again, I don't remember why some of these things were made, but there was some type of a conversation probably over on Crochetville where we were all talking about things and it might've been something that was popular at the time. So number seven is a gnome guy. Now these all have little eyeballs, wiggle eyes glued onto them. They might turn a little bit of yellow from sitting for a while, but I don't think it's too bad. Number six is Mr. Purple People Eater. He was a mystery crochet along with Mike from the Crochet Crowd. I think he ended up, the way I look at him, he reminds me of Mike from Monsters, Inc. Because that's about the time that I think Monster... Oh, when Monster High? No, Monster High, Monster Inc. And then whatever part two, that part two of the movie was. So there's that guy. 
Number four is a stuffed pumpkin dude patch. He's got leaves for feet and hands and a little pumpkin head. Now I have two knit bears and they're different sizes based on the yarn. So this is number two. He's got a little red sweater and he's got blue pants. And then there's a Halloween version, which is number five. The way I described them down below, I hopefully will make sense to you all. So if you see them and I missed a number or you miss seeing the number, you should be able to figure it out by the description. Here's a Furby. So he's number eight and he is the fuzzy guy. And I don't remember, there was some type of maybe another movie or the new toy or a game or something came out. I think new toys came out. So again, his Furby eyes have a little bit of a tinge of yellow to them. Apparently, the wiggle eyes change a little bit of color over time. Or these could have been colored behind it and they faded. Number three on top of his head is a crazy octopus. This is black light yarn and I can't remember if you can see it under a black light, but it's a red heart yarn that's called black light and I wanna say it can almost glow, but I'm not gonna guarantee anything like that. So remember, all you need to know for today, if you want to order ahead of time or on the live stream, there we go, get rid of some of that glare, is to know the number of the item you're interested in. So this time I'm going to dump them out and I'm going to pull them out one by one so that I can put them back in their little bag. Now number 10 is this pink sock monkey. He is crocheted, he's got a sock monkey butt and a long tail. He's almost 24 inches long. Then we have number 11, this frog guy here, again crocheted. He has Velcro on his hands and feet so that he can give you a hug or you can hang him from a side of the bed, maybe a bunk bed or something like that. And he's got a nice long tongue. He's got the big old eyeballs. When the troll movie come out, number 14. So this guy's got, these are safety eyes. Now, of course the wiggle eyes are just glued on. So those aren't safe for little kids and things with hair like this aren't going to be safe. So what I think is really fun about this guy is he's got toes and fingers, but the pattern even gave him a little butt. So we thought that was hilarious when we saw that. Some of these I did as a test knit and some of them I worked really hard to find the pattern or it's just something I had already. Some patterns in crochet are really rare and hard to find. So this guy's number 13, he's the camo bunny with his big floppy ears and he's got a little bit of a, a poofy tail back there. His eyes are felt and stitched down. I think for most things like this, it's better not to give them to small children. This is a bunny, number 19, and you could put a jar in here. I think I was meant to put like a glass, maybe of, I think there was like a can of soda or something like that. But if you put a clear jar in here, then you can go ahead and fill it with some type of candy and treats for Easter or whenever. Number 16 is an airplane. These are felt that are hand stitched on. So he's all crocheted, he's got his little wing tails and whatnot. 16. Number 15 is a zebra. He's got button eyes that are stitched down with the yarn from the project. He's got a little tail and he's got his big old mane. These were some of my favorite ones to make. There was, I have a couple pattern books for these guys. Made a whole bunch of barnyard animals. Number 18 is a little frog. He lays down like on top of your computer. Well, computer monitors at the time were the big wide ones, but you can set them on the desk or something like that. And he just kind of looks at you. Number 12 is a whale. Again, the felt is hand stitched down. His spout is crocheted on. I think I've made four or five of those. This is called an angel bear. This is number 20. So it's a little bear and she has her dress and she has wings. And she holds her little hands together like she's praying. Number 23 is just a silly paintbrush that's crocheted. Remember we were doing a whole bunch of weird things at that time. Pencils and crayons and paintbrushes. Number 25 and number 24. So 24 is this purple bunny. 
It's got the pom-pom tail. And number tw 25 is the red and aqua one with the fuzzy pom-pom tail. I like the stripes on the ears. When the Minions first came out, we were making keychains. Again, the eyes have a little bit of a yellow tint to them. Number 21 just has one eye. And then number 22, there's four of them available and they all have two eyes. So these are gonna be sold individually, but I just list them as one number. And then you can either buy four of them or four people can buy them or two people can buy two, you know. These are called Bunny Nuggets. Number 26 is this blue guy. Number 27 is a bunny nugget dressed up for Easter. And my favorite, number 28, is Harry Potter. He's got his glasses, he's got his little scar, and he's in his little Gryffindor outfit. And I thought I only had a couple to show. Now these are stuffed cats. So they have their ears with the fabric on one side. They have their hand embroidered for their faces, and they have a belly, and then they have a tail. This is a very soft... I don't know what it was. It's not flannel or fleece or something. It's just maybe it's a microfiber or something. I don't remember what it is, but I have several of those listed down below. So you got the orange camouflage. You have a red belly. This one has dogs on it. This one is the 49ers. So if anyone's into San Francisco 49ers, otherwise it's just a fun toy for someone to play with or to give to the animals if they don't tear things up too bad. This is a blue belly with leaves. I called this swamp green because I also had a green belly. I'll show you these in numerical order in just a minute. New York Giants, green belly with birds, red belly with flowers, green belly with butterflies. Here's a cute one, frog. Pink belly with starfish. And I called this one math. So let's see, 56 is math. 45 is green belly with butterflies. 48 is red belly with white flowers. 46 is New York Giants. 44 is green belly with the purple uh, birds. 54 is swamp belly, which doesn't sound very nice. 55 is green. 49 is the, oh, look at that. That was purely accident. 49 is the 49ers. 52 is blue belly with leaves. 47 is a red belly. 51 is orange camouflage. 50 is the dogs. 53 is the frog. And 57 is pink with the star. So I know I went through that really fast, but everything is going to be listed down below so you can match up the numbers. If I didn't mention it already, the prices are down below also. 43 is a Rubik's Cube pin cushion. Now these are tiny little felt squares that each one of them has been individually hand sewn on. I took my daughter's Rubik's Cube and based on the way hers looked, that's where I put the colors. But back when I made this, some people complained and said I didn't put the colors in the right spot. I did the best I could based on the one that she had and I believe it was a real Rubik's Cube at the time. So I don't know if they're in the proper order or not, but I think it's just still kind of fun. 41 is this little quilt. And it comes with a doll. She's got embroidered face and felt hair, and she's got floppy arms and legs. And I don't know the style of it, but when I was making these, it was testing it out for a pattern. And it was very popular at the time. So I made two. So this one has this fabric, this is number 42. She's got black hair, so her hair is felt, but I curled it up and I gave her little ponytails, her face, and she's got, her dress is the city. Number 40 is a simple shark. No teeth, just a basic stuffy. Number 32 is an octopus. Again, felt face, hand embroidered on. These silly guys, number 36 and number 37 are otters. 
felt face. Things are embroidered. This guy's got buttons, and then again, felt face with embroidery. This guy's more of a Halloween-y type stuff, because this is the eyeballs in a jar and stuff like that. Number 39 is a little baby in a giraffe's outfit. His hood is attached, but it does come on and off of his head. So he's dressed up for Halloween. He's got his little pacifier, and he's got curly Q hair and baby blue eyes. Number 35 is a sock monkey. It's purple and pink. Felt eyes embroidered. This is one of those socks with the grippers on the bottom of it so you don't slip, so he looks kind of silly on the back. Number 34 is a damn it doll. You want to throw it at the TV or slam it down, and when you want to say damn it and stuff, those, again, were popular at one point. Number... 33, porcupine hedgehog. I think it was a hedgehog, but it could be either way. This is made out of one of those car washing mitts that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Number 38 is a jump rope, and the handles are these horse heads. So they've got their little blue mane. They've got buttons for eyes. And I say this is for a younger child. It's not that long of a jump rope. Number 17 is a skull pillow. It is crocheted. There's a pillow inside of it. This was, is it Halloween Town High that's really popular? This was from a few years ago, and I, I see it on TV still, so it's still got to be popular, where the girls, she has their pink ribbon up there and stuff like that. So I don't remember where I got this pattern from or if I just kind of winged it as I was going from a picture. I think I found a graph for her and just turned it into a pillow. It's got that stripe on the back. Now I have some crocheted loveys. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 29. And these are for kids to carry around or they can just sit on a table somewhere. A lot of times kids just want a little bit of a lovey to take around with them. Now remember this is crocheted, so it's not necessarily for the smallest kids. But he's got his arms, his head, whoever orange is. I want to say Donatello, but I'm probably wrong. So this is crocheted to be like turtle shells. So it's got that design. He even has got all of his little muscles and stuff. So I think this guy turned out really cute. Number 29. And number 31. This is more of a scary Halloween one. So this is a monster with his eyeball that's falling out. So again, a lovey, or some people that bought these from me, they put them out on their table as a decoration. So this is all flat, and then this crochet is on top of it, so it's like a ridge that goes all the way around here and around the border. And the heads are sewn on really, really well, but again, it's something you need to keep an eye on if you're going to give it to children. And last but not least, yes, this is last but not least, is my bunny lovey. This is number 30, crocheted with the pastel colors, a little bunny face, isn't it so cute? This would look really sweet on the center of an Easter table or like for an Easter egg hunt. You could leave this on the center, you could put a couple things around it, maybe other stuffies or little dishes of candy or something. Or the kids can just have it as a lovey. But I really love the pastel colors, the little bunny with his purple ears, he's just so cute waving at us. So that's everything. Again, I will be going live and doing this at 1130 in the morning on Saturday, June 19th, 2021, Eastern Standard Time. I think I got all of that in. If you're interested in anything, just go ahead and email me the numbers. But please, if you're going to choose things today, I'm going to be sending invoices out as soon as possible. So you'll receive the invoice within a day or two. So please only let me know that you want something if you're actually going to purchase it. Don't ask me to hold things for you if you really aren't sure if you're going to be able to afford it or if it's something you definitely want to purchase. I don't want to hold things back and then have someone else who wants it and they can't because you've got it on hold and then you decide you don't want to purchase it. I think that's pretty fair to say that. So that way anyone who wants to get something early can't make it for the live or for those of you with slower internet because some people were able to grab things really quick last time and other people it just their internet was too slow or sometimes when you're like typing on a different device it's kind of a little bit slower than some people rsislandcrafts at gmail.com 
I need your email address and your mailing address so I can figure out shipping. Some of these due to size, the price on shipping might change a little bit. Sometimes if depending on how much you buy or what you buy, sometimes it's better to go ahead and just put it in a flat rate shipping package, even though it doesn't weigh that much, just because it becomes in a regular package, it becomes a bulky item and it ends up working out better to ship it flat rate. So I will always do my best to get the best prices for you. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on Saturday and I'll talk at you later. Bye.